The Ebola virus is a highly aggressive virus that is transmitted through bodily contact with an infected, symptomatic individual. The Ebola virus enters the body primarily through direct contact of mucous membranes, like the eyes or through abrasions in the skin. When inside the body, the virus fuses with tissue cells, invades them, and releases its genetic content into the cell. This is similar to many viruses, wherein the viral RNA uses the host cells to generate copies of itself. The genetic material takes over the cell machinery to replicate itself. New copies of the virus are formed, released into the system, and dispersed. This also causes the cells to explode, sending infectious particles flying. Ebola then overpowers the immune system. The very cells that are meant to fight infection are used as carriers to spread infection to other body parts, including the liver, spleen, kidneys, and brain. The virus attacks almost every organ and tissue in the human body, resulting in an overwhelming inflammatory reaction. This is what causes sudden flu-like symptoms that are the first signs of Ebola. I'd like to show you exactly how Ebola infects a cell in your body. First, the virus has to convince your cell to engulf it. Then, the cell takes it up into a membrane-bound compartment called the lysosome. But Ebola actually needs to get out of the lysosome for two reasons. The first reason is that the lysosome is filled with enzymes that can destroy it. But also, the virus has to get into the cytoplasm because that's where all the goodies are that it needs to copy itself. And the way the virus escapes is by fusing its membrane to the membrane of the lysosome. How does the virus know how to do this? So it turns out that the virus is actually receiving signals from your own cells, telling it when it's in the right place and when it's the right time to carry out this fusion reaction. It's almost like a GPS system. And it turns out that one of the most important components of this GPS system is one of your own proteins called NPC1. The virus has evolved to use NPC1 to bind to it and use it as a part of its orienting mechanism that tells it, okay, fuse now. And when that happens, Ebola essentially releases its payload, the genetic material, into the cytoplasm to kick off the replication process. Hmm.